Hi, Scout. Hey, buddy. One. Don't you have a little surgery? You poor thing. Oh, you're getting me muddy. That's it. This is our friend Scout. It's a my neighbor's friend's dog. I think he got neutered, which is why he's got the cone on. He's a sweetie. Don't want a goofy poodle with a pedigree. No whiny, wimpy little pooch. Don't you see? The great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then, I couldn't so pick him up. Sweet. Now he barely fits into my That's pickup truck. Yeah, he's got his doing all right. Well, it's not always all pretty here. No, let's go in your house. So Finn just ate and then proceeded to throw it back up. So just to show you the update here, I actually painted over all the chewed parts and the window sash. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does make it look a bit better. Magic got his little lunchtime snack. And what we're able to do now is just keep this door propped so the dogs can go out whenever they want. Go outside. Go outside. Hey. Magic, the longer you sit there, you don't get more food. No. Just because I said food, you don't get more food. You've had enough dinner. You're a good boy. So, great to show some subscriber Danes here. First, we have Apollo, sent in by Amanda Costilla. And Apollo helps out with Aiden, their son. And Aiden has some challenges, and this dog really helps at only five months old. They're looking to make him a service dog to help other people, so great job. Next, we've got Josie. And Josie lives with Clay and Nicole Wester in Crestview, Florida. And it's a six-month-old Danif, so a cross between a Great Dane and a Mastiff. And then we've got Riley, eight weeks old, from David Kelso. And uh, Riley's a nice little dame there for him. And I thought, just for old time's sake, I would end with my daughter Isabel, some ten years ago, and Frederick, one of the greatest great dames we ever had. Keep watching, send in your dog's video or photo, and I will feature it here. Just making some toast, getting ready to put some real local honey on it. And I thought, you know, I think it's important to show my subscribers that it's just not always crazy with Great Danes. So they, they ate, they went out, it's a little after 9 in the morning, and Finn is just taking his place here, and Magic, right there. So they're just chilling out. And that can go on for a few hours, it doesn't always have to be mayhem. Stay. What do you say, Hank? Stay. You stay. Stay. Wait. All right, come on now. Good boy. Hi, Hank. So we're doing Magic Meets a Labrador. Good boys. Good boys. Hi, Hank. Come here, Scout. Come here, Scout. Great Dane meets GSP, right? Yeah. So now we're meeting German Short Hair Pointer. Hi, Scout. You're, you're in my car, buddy.
Right. Brian, tell us a little bit about the German short-haired pointer and its history as a breed. Well, I know it's the culmination of a Spanish, I believe, pointer and some sort of German dog. The Germans spread him to be fierce hunting dogs in about the 1800s. Why can't every dog be just as good? It's a great Dane, stand six foot five, feel this cold, wet nose when I close my eyes. And I hope you have a great Dane. Dane.